Greetings Captains, welcome back to Roz Grease Gaming, and we have Season 9 of Ranked Battles coming to us right in the really nitty gitty of the teeth, and it's right near our doorstep. No lie, within a couple couple weeks, if that, we're going to have Season 9 of Ranked Battles. I had I knew this was going to be coming before you know it. I, I, I knew right when um, the next patch was on the way, and on top of that with Clan Battles ending, they have to get something more. Um, professional going on in the game other than just typical events and stuff like that since the new American cruiser line hasn't been released yet so we're gonna have to wait for that but in the meantime this would make perfect sense so from the 27th to the 3rd of June you can play in the new season 9 of course getting yourself a bucket load of free good stuff uh, but here's the kicker folks usually I see one tier I've seen seven I've seen five I've seen almost nine but we've seen eight as well we've seen I think six yeah we've seen six I haven't seen five actually and we did do tier five but I haven't seen this they decided this time around to do two and then a third one at the end tiers so when you play from the 23rd to the 11th rank you have to play tier 8 when you get to rank 10 to the rank 2 you have to play a tier 10 when you get to rank 1 the king of the crop you get to feel the triggered flag and go back down to tier 7 yeah that's that's gonna be interesting <laughs> Now, also, they did do a few changes on top of that. Irrevocable positions on the stars have been changed. You can't lose any stars going down from 23, 17, 15, 10, and rank 1. Rank 1, I understand, but rank 10, that's a different one. So, another thing also they're adding is bonus stars. These are stars that every time you get to rank, uh, rank up another level from like 23 to 22, you get a bonus star uh, and you keep repeating that all the way to the 11th rank once you get to the 11th rank um, and get to rank 10 that's it you don't get any more bonus stars sorry another thing that they've changed as well as is they mirrored the lineups and the matches that's according to their rules so if you are in a tier 8 battle um, in rank season if you see a Mikhail Kutasov you will see uh, there's somebody on your team that has a Mikhail Kutuzov. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> an Alabama, an Alabama, an Amagi, an Amagi, um, a Megami, another Megami. You're gonna see that mirror images. An Enterprise versus an Enterprise. I think I, could, I, I don't have to see any freaking more. You get the gist. So, to me, that's where I see is you can't make the excuse that it's the other ship's fault that he has better he has a better ship no he has better play skill that's what i see he had a better play skill and he knew how to use the ship well so there's no excuse whatsoever um that it's all about the other ship it's all about the player's skill on top of that also is as always Whatever rank you were at, you get stars. And those stars will put you up to a couple levels. For example, I got to rank 5 last season. So I'll get 18 stars. And I'll start at rank 14 this year. Just at the bottom. If you got to rank 1 last season, you'll get to rank 13. So at least you got a good jump start ahead of time. Now, on top of that, you get all these rewards. If you don't want to go any further than, uh, you know, go any series, just get to 16, you get a free premium. If you want to push your further and don't want to go to tier 10, at least you get to 250 doubloons and all these flags. Finally, if you want to really go for the nitty gritty, go for rank 1, you get the Hydra flag, you get another Jolly Roger or a Flint or a Black, whatever you're at. On top of that, you get 50 rank KOs, 2,500 doubloons. And also, the Flints and the Black have a new camo. 
which are freaking insane. If you, I don't even need to say anything. Just, just look at the stats right there on your screen. I think I don't have to explain any more than that by itself. Just, just a picture of that, folks. What's this picture of that? Pleasure me if you would. Finally, the last thing I wanted to talk about, and I had to actually show this off because, well, I had to read it once, I had to read it twice, and I was just sitting there going, what? No way. So if you get to rank one, people would just leave. Some people would keep playing, but now they have an excuse to keep playing for rank one. The Sea, the League of Sea Wolves. You get to play your tier seven at a special prime time for an extra mission. On the Eastern side, me or in the Pacific is there as well 1800 hours to midnight or 24 or 000 starting at midnight you get to play these ships and if you're ranked if you're top two experienced players in the game you and somebody else are top of the best of seven players on tier seven you get to get a random container of more credits more consumables or more flags and camos I think that's a win-win. You, if you keep pushing fast enough, that's a good minute. That's two hours. You probably can get yourself maybe, if the games are fast enough, you could probably get yourself at least maybe seven or eight box uh, containers that day. Now it doesn't say weekends or anything. It's daily, so. If you get fast enough and get to rank 1 within a few short days and then you can get to the League of Sea Wolves fast enough, you can actually get yourself a swimming pool of containers for consumables, flags, or extra credits. Especially if you need those extra credits or experience to get to that next tier that you're having the difficulty at. Hell, you might even get some extra doubloons along the way. I think that's a win-win across the boards. Now normally we would then start talking about the tier and which stronger the weakest. However, because of this season. What? What the fuck? Being that the tiers are going to be 8, 10, and finally 7, we're going to have to split this up into different videos and I think it would be better off if you all had it. Not as one big video, but a bunch of little videos along the way. That way you can all easily digest it, just like having a meal, like a bunch of courses of a meal. So this video is just on the info, the next one will be tier A, and the next one would be tier 10. But if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments or thumbs up it if you guys are interested in seeing a tier ten, uh, 7 video for the rank 1. As always, hit that thumbs up if you like this video, hit the thumbs down if you don't like it. If you guys have anything you want to talk about, read it down in the comments down below. And subscribe if you want for more, and hit that bells icon if you actually want more info. But as always, I really appreciate you guys hanging out for this long in the video. As always, take care of yourselves, and see you on the high seas.